So guys, we're here at Pan Lake, which is uh, deep. This is, this is English history. I'm all about English history. And uh, this one, it's got 40 carp in it. Um, look at it, it's just fantastic. And uh, it, it, it's not cultured, it's not carp soup. It's left as English history. And uh, that's, I'm into it, the heritage of English carp fishing. And uh, this one, I'm loving it, being here. So we're just gonna go down and see my friend, Greg. He's had his second carp. I've lost one, unfortunately. I got cut off gravel pit, and that's what it is. But uh, Greg's got his second one, and uh, we're gonna go and see what he's caught and see what Pan Lake offers you. We were literally filming for the day, which is a hard one because we've got to, we're filming the Withy Pool rig, we're filming all sorts of incidentals and uh, and it's, it, 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 it looks easy when you watch it on Instagram or you watch it on YouTube, it's not that easy. Um, thankfully, I'm okay at it, I've done it a lot of years, and um, but I always like to succeed. Um, and success, it, 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 it smells good. But what I've done is I've identified a spot that's fitting um, and I never ever put three rods on one spot and it just felt right to do it today but what I've done now is I've changed them down to a little dumbbell wafter a little bit of enterprise tackle the tiny little bit of corn little sight marker and just one little bag and I've put all three of them on 15 and three quarter wraps um, as you would have seen from the previous footage you've seen where where it's landed and uh, they were definitely fizzing there there's got to be a carp down there there's a few carp, I know there is, because I've seen the bubbling and whatever, but there's got to be one car that's prepared to suck up that rig, and uh, and hopefully <laughs> we'll see her in the net. Uh, oh, we just had a, we just had a liner, <laughs> come on. I've got three and a half hours. <laughs> Wish me luck, boys. All right, guys, look at this. This is quintessentially English carp fishing. Oh, and what we got in there? I just had a maniac fish. This is Pan Lake in Hartford, and it's absolutely stunning. If this this typifies, even look at the, look at these uh, old railway sleepers. Uh, this typifies English carp fishing. There's only about seven eight swims on here, but uh, yeah, we've got one. Yeah, loving it, loving it. This is uh, just a bit of me. This is takes me back thirty odd years. Uh, she's having a roll going there. I'll just put it in the net, in, in the retainer, just for um, just for half an hour, just because it went through the trees, and I had to um, get the waders on and uh, go and cut the. Uh, I had to cut the line, cut the tree, cut the part of the tree down, <laughs> just to get that fish. But uh, yeah, Bear Grylls carp angling, beautiful, love pan lake. So there it is. That's the Withy Pool. Uh, it's where it's where it all started. It started for me in '89. Um, I was doing this before we had shrink tube, and you can see from that they go on about certain rigs. I'm not going to diss anyone's rigs, but look at that. There's nothing faster than that. Uh, it's, uh, as fast as anything. Drop it on there. Oh dear. Hello. <laughs> Camera album. It's getting bigger. That's what happens. And um, you know all this palm test nonsense look that that's what happens whatever way you pull that too deadly it literally does hook everywhere you can fish it off the lead i'm doing now i'm going to put that down there and we'll take that little bit of um this is the, this is the gardener um, ultra skin take that little bit there just have it flexible 
and um, and uh, all these all these fancy rigs and whatever. It's um, that's where it's come from. Um, the chod come from that. The chod rig came from that. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm quite proud of myself, really. To be fair, in 1989, um, I used to put the, put a float stop up there, bend it round with the float stop, then glue it in place. It wasn't until 94, 93, 94 season, I think, I got um, Christmas tubing, and uh, and then we had shrink tube. And uh, but you can see, well, you can't get away with it, and, and no 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 carp can. And that will, on a pop up, it will hook dead in the centre of the bottom lip every time even with bream even with tench it hooks every time on a pop-up if you use it with a wafter sometimes it'll hook slightly off center either side it depends which way the, the fish are moving going that way this way um, but it still hooks but you believe it or not you can still use this with a bottom bait and uh, i've caught them up to 25 mil a bottom bait on the withy and uh, and it caught the two biggest carp in hampshire on bottom baits and uh, so yeah uh, I think ignore this one at your peril and uh, yeah it, it's definitely a good one so we've got the mugger hook um, this, this this stuff here the um, the garden ultra skin one that you saw at the start of the, uh, the video and uh, he's had his fish on the ultra skin and uh, yes yeah, banging absolutely banging it, it, it stops it tangling it's very unobtrusive as a as a color and uh, yeah, just get on, get on the rig. It's uh, it's banging. The mugger hooks, look, you can see that they're just sticking. <laughs> I've not even pulled that. They're uh, they're amazing. So uh, yeah, good luck, guys. Try it out.